something a little different today. It is April 7th, 2019, and we have a Kindle Fire 7 and a little friend who's going to watch. So they recently announced that there was a uh, root option available for the 2015 or the uh, rather the fifth gen Kindle Fire 7. And so uh, today I'm going to try and figure out how to root it. There is not a video that I saw online that shows how to use the new hack root thing, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to make one. First off, we need to open it up. And this guy said you can do it with a guitar pick. And he made it look easy. Great. Okay. So next. So I was able to get it to crack open. One of these cheapy iPad pod thingabobs. All right, here we go. Oh, what is that? RFID? Interesting. Um, all right, so here's the device. And let's see if this pops up. I think we need to get underneath that. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's starting to come up. I think we need a better tool. There we go. All right. So here is the back side of the unit. Looking pretty for us. And we've got the processor right there. And that looks like it could be the storage. Oh, wait. There's another MediaTek. Yeah, that's the processor. That's the other thing. The MT6323LGA. And that... Yeah. Anyway... We're inside, and our instructions say for us to short out what appears to be this pin to this, which is, I assume, a grounded area. And this is the image that's linked over on the XDA developer thing. So what I'm going to do, because this needs to be done while it's plugged in, I'm just going to solder a little wire on there so I can easily touch it to this when I need to. Actually, I have this little tiny switch. I'm going to solder that on. And just to see what's going on, I am going to check something out here. Because uh, I have a suspicion that this little pad is also ground. Oh, very nice. I'm not reading any, any homage there. And then I'm just going to check. What is this? This goes through some kind of 88 ohm resistance. And if I flip it around... 598 ohms. All right, so yeah, so I'm gonna actually just gonna solder this little guy right across there. I just happen to have something the right size. Put some solder gloop on it. Some old flux, and then tin the the pad. I should probably disconnect the battery, but I didn't. Now, let's just put a little bit of solder on there. Oops. A little bit of solder. A little bit of solder. Oh. That doesn't want to wet. It needs to be a little bit warmer because this Kindle is obviously assembled. Come on. With non leaded solder. There we go. All right, now we got that soldered on there. I can easily depress that when I need to. We'll take it off when we're done. All right, per the instructions, this was for the fifth gen. We're going to download this Emanet thing, some repositories, turn off the modem, and we're supposed to 
We're supposed to update. Doing the thing. Install some other things. Stop modem manager. If you're running from a live disk, you could just sudo everything, or you can add your user if you're installed Linux, whatever your username to the dialog group. Oh, I already did that. All right, so now we're ready. We have opted to go with opening the device and putting a thing in, a little short. So my switch is underneath the metal thing, which is holding down the switch. So that when I get to the right point, I can just pop that metal cover off and the switch will stop being pressed in. So we're gonna run this and it's gonna be sitting here. And now, hopefully, when I, oh, I gotta get two hands for this. The instructions aren't really clear if I have to hold down the left uh, thing while I plug it in or not, when I have the pin on the back shorted. So I'm just gonna try one thing at a time. Okay, so it knew that I had the pin on there. So now I just flip it over. I'm gonna pop that cover off. So I guess I didn't really need that. And we see what happens. Where's my mouse? Get into here, hit enter. Ooh. What's it doing on the front? Nothing, can't see anything. All right, we'll let it do its thing. All right, so now, mm, nothing's coming up. Oh. Hacked fastboot mode, zero, XYZ, four, K4, Y, zero, Z. All right, cool. Hello. So let's run the next option, which is the fast boot step. And it turned off. Did something. Okay, so we're waiting for TWRP. Come on, baby. All oh, right, that's what we want to see. All right, so what do we do now? All right, so I think it's just as simple as allow modifications. So actually that screen we just saw about uh, sliding, that means that the operating system image is encrypted. I forgot that they started encrypting uh, everything by default. So at this point, we can, um, let's see, what, what can we do? We can follow the instructions to just flash a new OS, um, a new ROM, which there is one available that doesn't have some of the, the stuff enabled by default, such as over-the-air update. Um, I mean, I guess the reason why I want to do any of this from the get-go is that um, I'm not happy with the stock firmware because it's very slow for me. And so I just want to be able to, like, use this stinking tablet for watching Amazon videos and not have it mess up all the time on me. So I don't have anything on that device. I'm going to download this Fire OS revamped and move on from there. So this doesn't have uh, forced over-the-air updates or any of this other junk. And I'm going to download it. I hate these big green buttons that say click here to download. How do I know this is the right one? Uh, okay. Okay. And we wait. <laughs> There we go.
Verify the MD5. Okay, 73F CDO4. Looks good. And I don't know if this is a good idea, if it's useful or not. I'm going to back up to an SD card that I have inside. It's a 64 gig. And of course, the internal storage being the three pictures on there uh, are not going to be backed up because that's an encrypted storage location and they can't access it, but I don't really care. But you know, I'm curious. Let's just reboot, log in, see what's going on. All right, so let's turn it on. Oh yeah, I know. And what do I use? I use Prime Video only, and occasionally OBD2, and that's all I actually use this for. So, I did have one file, but I have this on my Dropbox. Okay, let's do that again. Turn it off. Unplug. So it's ready to go. Get this thing going. Go ahead and plug. Uh, no, wait a second. We gotta, gotta hold down my little power switch or my little reset switch. So I'm gonna hold down this button and that will short it out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to be watching on this screen. So. Precarious. Remove the short and press enter. Okay, so I've removed the short. I'm not pressing the button. Hit the enter key. And it does the things again. I'm waiting for it. All right. Hacked fast boot mode, yogurt. And then we run fast boot and it flashes, flashed some things on the screen, but it should come up as TWRP now. Come on. Ta -da! All right, so now, uh, one last thing. I also downloaded Magisk and I copied both of those to the SD card. Got Magisk and I've got that Fire OS that we downloaded earlier. Ooh. Okay. So now, First thing we're going to do is, uh, I don't know if it's the right thing or not, but I'm going to wipe the device. Format data. Yes. And that's because the internal storage is encrypted and I don't need that. And then I don't know if that is required, but now I'm going to select an install image and install zip. I think wiping it requires that I reboot. For the third time, we run this. I hold down the button. Oh, blurry cam. Hold this down while we plug in. Right, plug in. We watch the thing. I let go of the button. Oh, enter. It's doing its thing. It starts up. And then we launch fast boot. And it should boot TWRP for us.
There we go. Ta-da! All right, so now we're going to, is it install? Or is it restore? Select the SD card, and I want, uh, what is that? No, that's a backup. So I think it is store, install. So I have the SD card loaded up now, and it's a zip file, and it's Fire OS. And so now it's going to install the thing. Oh, of course it's backing up, but that's fine. Uh, okay, that was really quick. And now we see what happens. Hopefully we have a new, fresh OS. There was note that once you enter the Wi-Fi information for the first time, it's supposed to freeze, and then it's supposed to bring us to the Nova launcher. So we'll see if that happens. Fire. Optimizing. Welcome to fire. Well, let's do English. Oh, it's supposed to crash or something at this point. Da, 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 da. All right, so now you should do something horrible, like crash, because I said no, updates, right? Crash, please. Um, what? Interesting. If you play with this enough, the not now button comes up and you can skip registration. So were we successful? Um, I don't know. All right, well, uh, let's also check. Um, interesting. So I don't know what happened. I should be on 5630. Um, and this one is showing 563, 5364 as if it installed fresh. I did something wrong, I think. Yes, I have music and I have silk. So why does this have silk and music? Uh, let's let's try again. Booting up again. What does that mean? I think I hit the button on the back while it was flashing. So I'm not going to do that again. It's coming up. Launch fast boot. It does its thing. And it should come up to teeter twerp. So let's just try this again. We want to install. We want to install a zip file from the SD card. And we're going to do Fire OS. And we're going to reboot. Five six three zero build twenty eighteen by Android. Maybe I just clicked the wrong button last time. This is taking much longer, which is good. Okay. Is that it? All right. Is working. That's what I want. Let's check on my hot peppers. They're coming out. Okay. Ooh. So interesting. It, it remembered my Wi-Fi settings somehow. Uh, but now we have a different launcher. And 
Yes. So now we have a successful install of this custom ROM. Cool. All right, so I'm going to uh, play with it for a week and see how the performance is and if it actually made it better. Um, but I did the thing. It only took us 20 minutes, <laughs> two hours uh, in the real world. So, cool. Just show you the version. There we go. All right. So you too can root your device. I am now going to unsolder that little button on there and put it all back together. Subscribe.